Welcome back to Definitely Not Definitive. I'm Ken. And I'm Bethany. And we're just a rowdy couple in love that loves reacting to some Ruby. We're rowdy for Ruby. Yes, this is Ruby Volume 5, uh, Episode 11. If you want all of our Ruby reactions, check out the description of this video. We got a playlist there. And you can also get early ad-free access uh, on Patreon. Yeah. And if you're on Patreon and you're seeing the early ad-free access, then you probably are thinking that, you know, wow, this is, you know, this is early. Uh, normally you get it in batches of four on uh, on Patreon, but now we're gonna try to do it um, weekly uh, as well. So you can stay a month ahead uh, every week. Um, Ruby was one of the first ones we reacted to on Patreon. And we just kind of got like in the habit of just always reacting to it like in batches like of four and then just releasing it like every, you know, every 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 uh, four weeks. Um, but we're gonna, you know, we, we've been really enjoying the show and you just don't wanna wait as long. So yeah. you know, no, you don't have to wait as long. Yeah. <laughs> All right, ready? Ready. I mean, now it makes more sense why they were staring at each other like uh, Cinder and um, whatever the mm. Spring Maiden. Yeah, yeah. Why they match those two together. It's all hunchy. Yeah, that was a weird way to stand. Mm -hmm. need to walk. It's not like comfortable. No. I know, I know, I know. We don't like the cowardly line. It's okay, Bucky. You're fine. Why, hello. Thank you for uh, coming. It's an yeah. image. Mm -hmm. Seems to be more of you than last time. <laughs> hey, you know what they say, the more the merrier. So what's going on with the council? Why did you bring your weapons? <laughs> Leo, we're huntsmen. We always bring our weapons, you yeah. okay? Of course. Of course. Sorry. Just haven't had my evening coffee. Look, it's nice to see you, but uh, we got work to do. Are we she getting support from Raven? the council or not? Mom? Huh? Raven. They... A little slow. They really are magic. <laughs> if you're going to shoot me, shoot me. That was insulting. What are you doing here? I could ask you the same thing. You've been scheming, little brother. Planning to attack your own sister. Leo, what have you done? I... Leo did what any sane person would in his position. He looked at all the information he had in front of him, assessed the situation, and made a choice. And it seems you all have, too. Mm-hmm. You have the Spring Maiden. I do. Then hand her over and let's work together. 
We can beat Salem. All that time spent spying for Ozpin, and you still have no idea what you're dealing with. There is no beating Salem. You're wrong. We've done things that most people would call impossible. And I know the only reason we were able to do it is because we didn't do it alone. We had people to teach us. People to help us. We had each other. Work with us. She just don't want for inspirational speeches, dude. At least I nope. know we'll have a better chance if we try together. She's not going to take your hand, Ruby. Mm -mm. She's going to slice it. You sound just like your mother. Oh. <laughs> Hello, boys and girls. Cinder. And they got two maidens. Come on, guys. Is that any way to greet your old friends? Everybody stay calm. White Fang is prepping demolition and securing the school grounds. No one's getting in. And no one is getting out. Once the charges are set, move back to Perimeter Watch. Tonight, Haven Falls. You forgot your evil laugh. This was all just a trap? It appears so. Again, still on the uptake. Raven, tell me, how long have you been with them? Aw, don't take it personally, little bird. Your sister was a recent addition. The lion, on the other hand. Entrance into the Vital Festival was a real treat. But Leonardo's been sending Salem all sorts of information for a very, very long time. Isn't that right, Professor? Stop it. It was you. You sit on the Mistral Council. You had information on every huntsman and huntress in the kingdom. Mm -hmm. And you gave it all to her. I... I couldn't find any of them. Because you let her kill them. Oh, now, don't beat yourself up about it, Lionheart. I'm sure Tyrion and Hazel would have found them on their own eventually. What is wrong with you? How can you be so broken in size? To take so many lives, and then come here and rub it in our faces like it's something to be proud of? John? Uh -oh. oh, he's gonna snap. Oh, with that damn smile on your face! Everybody stay calm. I'm gonna make you pay for what you did. Do you hear me? Kid. Well, say something! Who are you again? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was Cinder's best moment in a while. her all right well the rest of you do something because yep. hey there blondie kick this guy's ass I'm thinking you owe me an apology for my leg don't you think sure take out the heiress don't bother wasting your power she's not worth it running away was one thing but this you've crossed the line yeah crow sorry brother Sometimes family disappoints you like that. We're not family anymore. Were we ever? I thought so. Mm. But I guess I was wrong. <laughs> Let's see what cool. Name really you just gotta take on a maiden. I'm more than a name. Hmm. Prove it. Oh, she will. Yeah! 
I don't wish to fight either of you. I don't Nora, care. You. But we will if you're with her. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Nora. Very well then. Hi, Mr. Bare Knuckle Brawler. Yeah, this is what you brought about, dude. Mm -hmm. Young man, I don't know who you are or what you think you're doing, but for your sake, I suggest you leave. Now. So we can run like you? Yeah. I'm warning you. You will do nothing. That's enough. That weapon takes a while to maneuver. Mm -hmm. Show him the cane. And then beat him with it. Not quite. Yeah, you chose poorly. Mm -hmm. I mean, I want to see this guy get his ass kicked, but like, out of all the fights to focus on right now. Be back, but you made it here. You found Crow. How? Leo, what happened to you? Yeah. Wait. You can't have had this form for long. You're not really ours, Pin, right now. Boy. Child. If I deliver you to Salem, she'll have to be pleased with me. And I can finally get out of all of this. I can finally be free. Nope. Never gonna be free. Never. <sighs> What do I do? Fight? And even if she sets you free, mm -hmm. which she never will, but even if she did, I take great comfort in knowing the fact that you will never be free of your guilt for what you did. Oof. Nice. Yep, night time. Oh. oh shit. Don't think I'm going to let you take the easy way out. <laughs> I'm starting to remember you. You're the dense one that can't tell when he's out of his league. Cinder everything. You want to fight her that bad? Be my guest. She's not giving me time to focus. Too. Oh. Stop messing with me! Oh, if that's what you want. <laughs> oh shit! All right, I'll chop her head off. Dude, you went for the one part where she has armor on? You went to stab her in the face? Is it? Okay. Ruby? Did 
you think you actually had a chance against me? You? You're just a failure with a death wish. If I die buying them time, then it's worth it. They're the ones that matter. You think so? <laughs> no. 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 What? I don't accept that she's dead. No, she can't be dead. Yeah, I mean, it's not like, I mean, it's not like totally freaking out. I'm just like, cause it just, it just can't happen. I don't believe it. Cinder finally had a bit of that sass, that confidence, yeah. that personality back. Yep, she did. Which was enjoyable to see because she's less pathetic now. So I can yeah. feel really good about fucking hating her fucking guts. <laughs> and I do. Like yeah. the way that she toyed with Jean, the way that she then saw what really mattered to him. So she went for the only thing that she could do, which was yep. to try and destroy that. I just, I hate her so much. And I'm glad that she's back enough that I can hate her. <laughs> yeah, and uh, who are you again? That was... That was uh, kind of nice, and I was like, okay, yeah, she is, she is back, and she did have her her swagger in here, and um, even calling Crow a little bird, like yep. just right out of the gate, I was like, oh, yep, yeah, and you're right, just the absolute like, not wanting to beat them, just wanting to like torture them and play with them and uh, inflict as much like emotional pain as well as physical pain as like possible, and oh wow. Uh, and Jean, I mean, the two women he's caring about most is, uh, you know, um, Weiss and, uh, and Pira and help us to stop anything happen to either of them. Um, that's just brutal, brutal, brutal episode for Jean. Although I do think that he absolutely 110% nailed a psychological analysis of Cinder. Mm. How can you be so broken inside? to inflict pain on others and then mm -hmm. gloat about it. Yeah. I mean, he's a hundred thousand percent right that she is that truly damaged of a person. Yeah. Um, it was cool seeing the battles though, like, you know, them uh, facing off against against each other. Although I didn't understand like, well, Crow, Crow was like, oh, let's be calm everybody. Like it was, a fight was gonna happen. Um. I think he knew with two maidens they were maybe outmatched and he didn't want. Yeah, but like, it's gonna happen no matter what. I mean, so, like, unless he had a, a strategy of how to um, get them all together and make be like, 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 we don't wanna be split, like, 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 you know, don't rush into anything. We gotta stick together. Like, you know, we can't let them split us up. We're stronger, like, a, 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 as a force together. But he was like, you know, let's keep calm head. Like, he thought, like, diplomacy was gonna win in the end or something like that. Or he, they were gonna be like, talk everyone off the ledge. It's like, no. They all got you there in a trap for a reason to, you know, kill you. Um, and when Crow was like, you have the Spring Maiden. In the earlier episodes, uh, Raven said, my brother knows that I had the Spring Maiden. But in this one, he didn't know. My guess, because I don't think that Crow would be a liar. I would definitely think that Raven is more than Yeah, Crow, yeah. Is that whatever she said before was tactical. Okay. A, a yeah. tactical falsehood. That makes sense. Versus, I can believe that. Uh, Crow knowing, somehow forgetting, going looking for her. Yeah, yeah. And and then pretending not to know. So yeah. Okay, that makes more sense. Is it wrong that I want the professor, um, the cowardly lion one, to die? Like, that's like probably wrong, right? I shouldn't want that. I mean, to 
die feels yeah. a bit extreme. But I all will the people s- he killed, all the huntsmen he killed. That's it. I will say, like, sure, maybe he isn't the one out there, like, pulling the metaphorical trigger, but he's the one ensuring that it happens. He's also the one betraying his friends. When you know someone is a piece of garbage, then you're not expecting very much from them. But when you think they're your friend and then discover they're kind of a piece of garbage, you have a lot more animosity to them than the person who was a piece of garbage from the start. Like like when somebody deceives you in a certain way, um, the pain is deeper and and wanting justifiable or, or even unjustifiable repercussions is not... Um, not wrong. I could have been okay with him living if he had just given up Ruby and the gang and uh, like, you know, see, like they brought weapons, he was a little surprised. And like, I think he he was thinking they would just get pr- be captured as prisoners and everything would be taken, like, you know, um, which is not like a great thing to like imprison your friends and everything. But at the same time, I'm just like, okay, like, you know, maybe he just didn't realize what was gonna happen. But when you give up the names of the huntsmen, like, what do you think they're gonna like, she was gonna do? Like, and if he gives me a fucking excuse, I swear to God, of like, I didn't know, I didn't know she was gonna do those things. I never would've given up, like, no, I'm sorry, bullshit. You can't give up that excuse and like, I'll finally be free. Give me a break, dude, I hate that guy. I get more fired up than Ken most of the time, which is why I'm also the one who swears like a pirate most of the time. So you know it's really bad when my <laughs> husband starts matching or exceeding my language. Um, but yeah, to yeah. everything you said. Yeah. I don't even care about his name. He's a cowardly lion. That's, yeah. I'm not even going to give him his actual name. <laughs> I mean, Lee, I think they called him Leonardo. No, he yeah. does not get that name. No. He does not get the name of a famous Ninja Turtle and a master artist. Yeah. He's, he's the cowardly lion, period, end yeah. of story. Professor Bitchface. Or that. Yeah. That's an acceptable alternative. Let us know what you thought about this down below in the comments. And if you want all of our Ruby reactions, we have a playlist down below in the description of this video, as well as a link to Patreon. You can get a month ahead in our reactions. Yeah. Um, and yeah, so it's, uh, I just want to, we got to figure out what happened to Weiss. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Like what a time to not binge these episodes and like kind of space model a little bit more. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was a bad decision maybe. Anyways, thanks so much for checking out our reaction for Ruby Volume 5, Episode uh, 11, but just keep in mind. That our reaction is definitely not definitive.